Another maths resource that we can use to explore shapes are these. These are pattern blocks. At the top of my screen I can see some two-dimensional shapes. I'm going to see the name of each shape and the colour that it is and I want you to echo it back after me. Make sure you're concentrating so that you can see the way that I say these two-dimensional shapes properly and you can say it after me. Yellow hexagon. Orange square. Red trapezium. Blue rhombus. Green triangle. Tan rhombus. Let's take a look at this hexagon together. A hexagon is another two dimensional shape. It's flat, we can't pick it up and look around it. It's not three dimensional, it's two dimensional. It has six sides and six vertices. Say hexagon. How many sides does it have? Show with your fingers. Six. How many vertices or points, corners, does it have? Six. Well done. This is one green hexagon and it has six sides and six vertices. But I wonder if a hexagon can be made up of other shapes. Today I'm using these pattern blocks. You might have pattern blocks where you are. Have you seen pattern blocks before? Pattern blocks are great for playing with. They're great for making patterns with. They're great for making shapes or pictures with. But did you know we can use them to compose or partition with two dimensional shapes? Let's have a look if this hexagon is made up of other shapes. Shall I break it apart? I'm going to, let's have a look. Let's take the top part away. What do you notice, little mathematicians? What have I made this hexagon with? Triangles. I've made this hexagon with triangles. How many green triangles do you think I may have used altogether to make this hexagon today? At the moment, I can see three green triangles. If I don't break the bottom part away, I can see a trapezium. Can you see a trapezium down the bottom? Let's break the bottom part away. Take a look. So my hexagon was made up of six triangles. I've now partitioned it to show that it has six triangles. I wonder if I can make a hexagon another way. I can see some red trapeziums here. How about I use one and another one? I'm going to flip it around and join it together to make a red hexagon. Can you see a hexagon? I had a green hexagon which I partitioned to show triangles and now I'm showing you that I can compose a hexagon using two trapeziums. Compose and partition. We compose by putting shapes together. We partition by breaking shapes apart. I wonder if those words are also used sometimes when we're working with numbers. Can we put numbers together and compose a number? We've learned that. Can we partition and break numbers apart to see the smaller parts inside? Look at all these things you're learning kindergarten.